mining at this deposit ceased in uh, 2020 uh, as a result of the upper sections being pretty much mined out. Uh, this was one of the largest uh, uh, zinc mines in the world, the, the uh, uh, Scorpion mine in Namibia just down the road about 20 kilos away from the old Roshpina mine. Uh, or I think a Roshpina is actually still operational now. What's very interesting about Scorpion is there were no sulfides on the upper sections. Whereas Roshpina you have quite a few sulfides, so the like of Gerthard, etc. So this black material here would be a, a, a variation of het heterolite, most likely hydroheterolite. Uh, heterolite, uh, from what I figure the difference may be is that the heterolite would be more individual crystals, whereas this is botryoidal. And then you'd have this lawn of tiny, uh, almost uh, dog-tooth-like smithsonite crystals sitting here, grey to a white. Matrix at the back, quite typical to scorpion, hellishly hard. Um, Size-wise, we're looking at a good size, must be about uh, 2 inches plus, edge to edge across, maybe just on 2 inches. Nice example of the hydroheterolite with smithsonite from the Scorpion mine uh, in Namibia, of course no longer being mined. Uh, interesting about the smithsonites from there, you had various, various faint shades of color. So you may see a little bit of green or blue here. I don't, it looks a bit more gray to me, uh, of course from Scorpion mine.